into Good day everyone, so for this video we will talk about the geometric design of highways. The design of highways necessitates the determination of specific design elements. So meron tayong specific design elements na consider as we design highways. That includes the number of lanes and its width. Also, kapag kailangan natin ng median or included sa design yung median, kailangan alam natin yung median type and also its width, the length of acceleration and deceleration lanes for on and off ramps, and the need for track climbing lanes for steep grades. Inaalam natin kung kailangan ba ng separate lane for climbing tracks, especially for steep grades. Curve radii required for vehicle turning, and the alignment required to provide adequate stopping and passing site distances. So, Vehicle performance characteristics has something to do with all of these design elements. How? First, example. Vehicle acceleration and deceleration characteristics have a direct impact on the design of acceleration and deceleration lanes. Yung length ng acceleration and deceleration lanes, nakabase siya sa characteristics ng vehicle acceleration and deceleration. Number two. Vehicle performance characteristics determine the need for track climbing lanes on steep grades as well as the number of lanes required. And number three, physical dimensions of vehicles affect a number of design elements, such as the radii required for low speed turning, height of highway overpasses, and lane weeds. This means that the physical dimension of vehicles has something to do with the physical dimension of the highway itself. So for the principle of highway alignment, the alignment of a highway is a three-dimensional problem measured in x, y, and z coordinates. This is illustrated from a driver's perspective. Okay, so in this figure, makikita natin, this is the three-dimensional representation of a highway section from the driver's perspective. However, in highway design practice, three-dimensional design computations are cumbersome. So, mahirap siyang i-execute. And what is perhaps more important, the actual implementation and construction of a design based on three-dimensional coordinates has historically been prohibitively difficult. So, kapag yung construction natin ng highway ay nakabase sa computation made using a three-dimensional representation, Mahirap siyang gawin. As a consequence, the three-dimensional highway alignment problem is reduced into two-dimensional alignment problems. So, hinati siya sa dalawang two-dimensional uh, illustration. And those are the horizontal alignment and the vertical alignment. So, ito yung um, dalawang alignment na ginamit which is in two-dimensional uh, representation. Uh, in this video, magpo-focus tayo sa vertical alignment. Aside from considering the alignment problem as two two-dimensional problems, one further simplification is made. So, instead of using X and Z coordinates, Highway positioning and length are defined as the distance along the highway. So that is usually measured along the center line of the highway on a horizontal constant elevation plane from a specified point. So ang ibig sabihin nito, let's say meron tayong specified point at station 0 plus 0, 0. And we are to determine the stationing of a point 
per 1,250 feet from that specific point. So, ang magiging stationing niyan is 42 plus 50. Kasi ang ginamit dito is English system. For one station, there are 100 feet. So, if the distance is 4,250 feet, meaning that point is at station 42 plus 50 in reference to the specific point at station 0 plus 00. zero. Pero kung gagamitin natin is metric system, usually one station is equivalent to 1,000 meters. Meaning to say, if we are to determine the stationing of a point 4,250 meters from a specific point at station 0 plus 00, zero its stationing would be 4 plus 250. So, the vertical alignment specifies the elevation of points along a roadway. The elevation of these roadway points is usually determined by the need to provide an acceptable level of driver safety, driver comfort, and proper drainage. Okay, so sa pagdidesign ng highway, isa sa mga kinoconsider natin is yung safety and comfortability ng mga gagamit. So, ng driver, ng passenger. A primary concern in vertical alignment is establishing the transition of roadway elevations between two grades. This transition is achieved by means of a vertical curve. So let's say meron tayong two adjacent grade lines. So ito yung existing roads na kailangan nating gawan ng smooth transition para sa safety and comfortability ng mga dadaan. Dito tayo gumagamit ng vertical curve. So, meron tayong dalawang uri ng vertical curve. The first one is the crest vertical curve and the second one is the sag vertical curve. Crest vertical curve is also known as the summit vertical curve. So, ang ginamit ditong curve is opening downward. So, yung first grade niya is positive, yung second grade niya is negative. Para naman sa sag vertical curve, kabaligtan lang. Ang ginamit ditong curve ay opening upward and its first grade is negative and its second grade is positive. So para naman sa vertical curve fundamentals, vertical curves are used to provide gradual change between two adjacent vertical grade lines. The curve used to connect the two adjacent grades is parabola. So, parabola yung ginamit na curve. Bakit? If you can recall, uh, ito yung equation ng parabola. x squared is equal to negative 4ay or y is equal to negative x squared over 4a. So, by principle, kapag kinuha mo ang first derivative niyan, ang makukuha natin is the slope of the curve at any point. So, ang first derivative ng ating original equation is negative x over 2a. Pag kinuha mo ang second derivative niyan, or yung second derivative ng original equation, ang lalabas is negative 1 over 2a. And this represents the rate of change of the first derivative, or the rate of change of the slope. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang nakuha nating value is negative 1 over 2a, which is a constant. Meaning to say, we have a con constant rate of change of slope. So, from that, um, nasatisfy natin yung isa sa mga kinoconsider natin sa pagdidesign ng highway, which is the comfortability and safety ng mga users. Kasi, kung um, constant yung rate of change of slope, meaning smooth yung transition.